All righty, what you got there, camera girl? We got Thai eggplant. So I'm just cutting one that's a little lighter and one that's a little darker and bigger. Just curious what the difference is gonna be in taste. But we're gonna make a, make a few things with them. But it's in the nightshade family. And I was reading, I guess some people have a reaction to them, but you know, tomatoes are the nightshade family, so we'll just have to see. It's sort of big, I want these more bite size. But I'm gonna try one raw. But some people apparently have a reaction. But I think it's more because they sort of sensitive to nightshade, not because of this thing, but we'll see. So let's just see. Sounds like an apple. That's because of the um, outside skin. One taste. It tastes okay. Really? You would eat that raw? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't say, mmm, I'm going to go get me some Thai eggplant to eat raw. But you know what? One of the things I was going to do, you can lightly steam them and put them with like tomato and cilantro and a little onion and lime and they're supposed to be good sort of like a salsa you know i could see it adding to a salsa but today we're going to do something different thai eggplant here we go Woohoo! today we're going to cook us up a thai eggplant you know this is a curry dish and what is a thai eggplant it's just a little dinky do eggplant you know it makes me think of a crab apple you know these things are about the size of a jawbreaker all you gotta do is lop the top of it off, and then we're gonna go ahead and quarter it. And we're using about eight of them for this dish. And the skin is a little bit thicker than you'll find on a Chinese eggplant, but it's thinner than what you'll find on those big English purple eggplants, so they're great for sauteing in this kind of dish. Heat your little oil in a skillet. We're using coconut oil, but use olive oil if that's all you got. Throw in your red bell pepper, your onion, your garlic, your ginger, a little bit of lemongrass, and then we're just using a couple of small hot chili peppers, but use as much hot pepper as you have a taste for, you know. Then go ahead and stir these ingredients around, you know, let them start to saute up, get fragrant, soften up, and then we're gonna add our spices, a little bit of coriander powder, a little chili powder, some turmeric, and then salt to taste, you know, use as much as you like. Throw your spices in there, stir it up, let these flavors become buddy-buddy, cook it up for another minute or two, and then we're gonna add in our eggplant. The skins on these, you know, are gonna be a nice texture with these other vegetables. You can eat all the little flesh there of the eggplant, all those little seeds you can eat, you know. Go ahead and stir them around, and then holy smokes, look at what camera girl's doing. She's adding light coconut milk. Bless her if that's what she wants to do. If that's what you want to do, go ahead. But I recommend just getting a can of regular coconut milk. It's not going to kill you, right? Go ahead and bring your skillet up to a bubble. You know, turn the heat up a little bit. Let it simmer away for about 10 or 15 minutes. You know, until the skin of the eggplant becomes, you know, friendly to your mouth when it gets to that consistency. Then turn the heat off and boom, there you have it. Throw you a little bit of chopped up basil in there, a little bit of lemon or lime juice, whatever the hell you got around the house, and then that's it. A Thai eggplant curry, super duper delicious, super easy to make. If you haven't tried these kind of eggplants, go ahead and give them a go, because they're great for this kind of dish. We're serving it over a little bit of fancy pants, jasmine rice. It's muy fantastico to look at, so you know, make sure you use that red bell pepper. Cause you know the red bell pepper with the eggplant it's just it's just a gorgeous dish right so tastes fantastic looks fantastic give it a go let us know what you think and bon appetit